What's up guys, Spooky Spankin' here, and today we are playing as the updated Fiddlesticks. I hesitate to call him reworked, because he's still basically the exact same champion, just modernized. Uh, to go over his abilities very quickly, well, I guess since we're jungling, we don't really need to go that fast. But his W, instead of just a single target suck, it is now a multi-target suck. It will suck on everyone in the range and drain them of their life. With the very last tick dealing um, missing health as bonus magic damage. The E is the biggest change, aside from his passive, which is now Reap. Um, instead of throwing your Dark Winds, your Crows, you'll throw out this little Scythe. Well, not throw, but you'll slice in that area that can target anywhere in that big circle. If someone gets hit by it, they get slowed. If they're inside that middle circle, that small middle circle, they are silenced as well. The Q is still Terrify. You point and click, CC someone. Um, and I'm actually going to see if I can do this at level 1 because I'm curious. But since you can now target multiple units at... The, oh. Okay. No, bring it over to me. Bring it over to me. Okay. Well... <laughs> I guess we're doing this this way. I I did you did, stop tanking it, please. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll show you guys next time. There is a thing you can do. I should have think for them to be more over towards me, so the red buff would come with me. Um, but you can pull both camps and do them together. It saves a bunch of time, and that is that. But the Terrify is still a point-and-click CC, uh, but they added a passive on it. If you are out of someone's vision and you hit them with a spell, like a long-range E, that will Terrify them instead. Um, and the active of your Q does deal damage now. So, it does current percentage of health as damage. If they're already Terrified or were Terrified recently, that damage is doubled. Then the passive is the Scarecrows. You can see it on my trinket, is the Scarecrow Effigy. And what that does is it actually replaces your... God damn it, dude. <laughs> the range of the E is so deceptive for me still. Um, but the trinkets will... It replaces your trinket entirely throughout the entire game. And you summon these little effigies that show up just like you do. And they kind of function like ghost poros. When someone runs into them, they will see the effigy. It will get spooked. It will perform a random fiddlesticks action. And then it will disappear. And after your level 6 with the effigies, it also functions as a sweeper. So, that is that. And then Phil 6's ultimate is just his old ultimate. It's the exact same thing. So, that is Fiddle 6's new kit. His ganks pre-6 are still pretty much, uh, you're a, you're a fear bot. <laughs> and that's that. And then after 6, it's still you just ult on to people and go for them. I'm going to see if I can get a gank to happen here. It doesn't look like I'll be able to, so I'm just going to walk away. I'm actually going to do this real fast. Who's their jungler? It's a Warwick. So, all right. You know, I'm not going to do this right now. Or will I? I think I will. Because I still want this. Thank you. I might just back on this. I mean, there's not really much else for me to be doing right now. Because top already got a kill. Actually, I can go top right now with this pushing. And see if I can force something to happen. I might be able to. I'm going to walk in here. Nah, I'm not going to be able to. I don't think there's really any, any chance of it happening. I'm just going to back, grab this, grab my Predator boots, because I'm trying Predator this game, just wanted to try it. I've been using Electrocute, and it feels alright, but since Fiddlesticks' W now deals damage to everyone in the range, it doesn't feel as, as potent on the single target, so your damage feels a little lackluster, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know if that's just because I've been doing bad builds, or if that's just, it doesn't feel that great. I'm a Predator on my way bottom right now. So here we go. And fear that. Drop this. And Ugh, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, so close. Oh damn. 
Can I do this? I don't know how much damage I'm gonna do. Like, I don't do damage. So. Oh, man. Dude, how much does this do? 80 per second over two seconds. It just feels like it does nothing. I, I'll be completely honest. I love the way New Phil 6 looks, but so far, I have not been convinced on the gameplay. It just doesn't doesn't feel good Get this out real fast I don't know man I've played a couple games of this now and it 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 feels fine but to me it just feels kind of like weaker but AoE fiddlesticks <laughs> I don't know I don't know we'll see how this game goes see if that changes my opinion and hopefully it'll be a good time. We'll try and just rush to six real fast and go for that. Look at the bottom. We do have the level advantage. I might be able to go up and steal his red real fast. Since that is about to be spawning. So I'm going to hustle over there real quick. So I should be able to do these. Yeah. He's still bottom, so I should be good on this. I can steal both of these at the same time, actually. I might have to... Yeah. I might have to re-aggro the... Oh! Oh, I didn't. Cool. I thought I was going to have to re-aggro the... Um, oh, I do. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought I'd have to re-aggro the, uh, the Raptors. Because they were in a very awkward position. Looks like I was right. I'm gonna walk up here actually. Let's see if I can. Oh, never mind. Wow, he did a lot of damage. Okay. I was gonna help him dive that, but I guess I should have just gone mid for that wave. So. It's probably gone. Alright, we are level 6 now. So this should help with my ability to gank bottom. I'm gonna clear this, and I'm going to go back and grab my Fiendish Codex, and then gank bottom with Predator again, because it should go a little better this time, I think. Hopefully. Uh, I believe this is their setup, and everyone else on my team is in the right order now. So, grab this. Grab, whoops. What did I click? Oh, I clicked on attack on accident somehow. Alright. Predator boots enabled, so now I can hustle on down there. Um... Varus did hit six, so maybe. I'm assuming they're going to try and look for some fight here. Also, now that I'm six, my trinket, like I said, my effigies will function as a sweeper. So I can use that to make sure they don't see me in the bush here. All right, cool. They do not. I'm just going to wait here. Should be good. All right, jump on that and slurp it up right here. Boom. Nice. Well, that's unfortunate that uh, Vayne went down, but we do get the double kill still for the team. So we'll take that. That's a very successful play all in all. So big, big swing for us. But I still feel, I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I have very little AP so far. I'm still not convinced of the damage. I feel like his, um, I feel like what they did or feel like what it is for me is that I'm so used to all of the damage being in like my crow and my drain that since they rearranged some like a decent chunk of the damage into his actual terrify itself that I'm just really not used to that yet so I'm trying to give it a little more credit I think that might be the case all right we'll go ahead and clear this top lane just doesn't need me for anything he has already got the first turret. 92 to 27 CS. Yeesh. Though, to be fair, I'm not super sure what a... Uh, what a Maokai is supposed to do in that lane 1v1. That's a rough one. Is this in range? No, it's not. Fuck, dude. I was standing just barely out of the range of the Raptor thing. Whoops. 
All right, ultimate's already almost back up. I'm going to see... I'm actually just going to walk back bottom again with my ultimate. Because that seems to be, like, the most consistent thing I can be doing right now. Just ulting bottom. All right, here I go. Ow. All right. I'm going to flash and slow with my smite. Cool. Because they both flashed off of me there. Might be able to just get this, right? Actually, how does... I don't know how this works. Because I know if I'm not seen... The enemy has not been terrified recently. Terrified of the enemy. Still six damage in an enemy with a spell while unseen outside of combat terrifies them. Does so I have to be considered out of combat for that to go off, I guess, huh? Interesting. But we still got the Varus again. That'll surely help the I'm on my way. If I can get there in time, he should actually be okay, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, okay. Never mind. That life steal. Oh my gosh. That chunk was nuts. Alright. Didn't that. Double this up. I don't think I can catch up to him, but I can go steal this red real fast. Big wave top to be missing, unfortunately. I don't care that they know I'm doing this. It doesn't matter to me at all. I'm still going to take it. Did I cancel my W? Because if you actually let the full W channel go through, it refunds some of the cooldown. So try, if you can, to let yourself uh, do the full W all the time. I can ult over this wall. Yeah, this is a dead Annie. Happy birthday. And happy slurp day. Nice. Yeah, I, I did damage. We did damage. The stick. The stick does damage. All right. Maybe I did just need some items. And some penetration. And some who knows what else. All right, can I get this blue buff too? I did just get a blue buff when I killed Warwick, so maybe it's not up. But we can still check anyway. All right. I'm coming in with my predator. Hello? Drop the fear. Get the suck. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Just make everyone really uncomfortable. Nice. Okay. This is starting to feel a lot better. I apologize for bitching a little bit early in the game, but this is already starting to feel a lot better. And I'm going to try a different build this game where... Let's see. We don't have... The slow there. We don't have Trundle here though, and he's really strong for us right now. And without my ultimate, I'm not sure I want to fight this. But I am going to try a different build this game where I do Rylize and um, what's it called? Oh, the big suck and more suck. Oh my gosh! No, I missed it. Goodness gracious. You know, I take back all that shit I was talking about Phil 6 early. This is busted. You know what I think I'm realizing? Is that I don't have the same burst. That's that's what it is. I don't have the same burst damage that I always felt Fiddle 6 had. I've got a lot of damage. It's not the same amount of burst damage. How? How did that not hit? So, <laughs> I bitched about it earlier, but to me, the most abilities in League of Legends seem to have, like, a bit of an artificial bump in their, like, in their range, right? It just kind of feels like that for a lot of abilities. But his E, it, it don't get that bump. It just kind of, like, you throw it, and if you hit, you hit. Do I have time to get this? I do. 
cool beans. This could be good. Hello! Oh, I fear multiple people? Busted. Get the fear. I've been annied. I've been struck by a smooth criminal. Alright, Rylai's Crystal Scepter. Actually, you know what? I can go for the Lyandries first. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I want to try Rylai's first. <laughs> I want to try this. Because I, I have yet to really... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I've never built... I haven't built Rylai's on new fiddles once yet. So I want to try this. I really want to try this. I think the life is going to be really nice. And I think the constant slow on my drain is going to be awesome. So we'll see if this helps me feel a little better. Because if people are staying in this range and I actually get the constant W's off all the time, that's so much damage. So... Bonk. Pillar comes out. Bonk, 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 bonk. Nice. I'm coming in. My predator's here. Hello? What? All right. And... Ooh. Bye bye. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we live. And Trundle gets the quadra. Let's go, dude. Good shit. Oh my gosh, I'm barely living. But we living nonetheless. I want to chill here until these spawn, see if I can get some life back. Holy moly. So you don't leech for shit on normal minions, but when you get on these jungle camps, goodness gracious, that is a lot of leech. I'm going. Hiya! Oh, look at the damage, dude. I'm dead, but look at the damage. All right. That was actually big pump. That was big, big pump. Oh, oh, oh gets the kill, but goes down for us. Still got the kill, though. Got the kill, though. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot more because all these other games, I was just going straight for the Zonias, right? I was going straight for the Zonias. I would do fine. Like, most of these other games, I, I ended like 6-3 and three, or like 6-3 and 10. And by most of these other games, I mean, I played this three times now. <laughs> I think three. So it's not like I played it a ton. But this Rylai is like, this setup feels dank. I'm digging this. I can jive with this turkey. So I'm gonna grab these. All right, make sure I actually hit the blue buff. And we'll just grab both of these real fast. And this right here has gotta be my favorite part of new fids. New stick. It's just the multi-camp goodness. It's almost as exciting is multi-track drifting. So, all right, here, check this out. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again. Y'all ready for this? All right, we auto this. Be right there. Stand right here. Yes. Look at it, look at the juice! No, come back, you bitch! No! No! Oh God, everything's falling apart. Okay. Yes. Yeah! Look at that. I'm juiced. Alright. I can almost afford my full Lyandries, too. I kind of want to get my Lyandries and then alt on people. So. Do this. Good. That Terrify does a little bit of damage now. Like. It, it doesn't feel like a ton because it's current health. But I know it still does damage, right? Like, okay. Hold on, let me get. I want to ult on to like all of them with whatever it's called. Let me try to ult them with 
my Landry's and Ryla. I want to see how it do. Oh, not bad. This thing. Control Ward. I haven't really been using my effigies for anything in this game. They've been on cooldown like the entire time. Throws one charge every 60 seconds. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Now, how much damage does this do? So, some amount. But I can check. Yeah. That was 200. Not bad. I'm going to bust the predator here. I can get grooving. Um, the predator is kind of functioning to scare them off a little too much. They don't have vision right there, at the very least. Well, now they do. Son of a bitch. <laughs> the effigy works. <laughs> okay. I need them to clump up for me. Yes. 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 Like this. No, stop running. They're running too far. Damn it. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Whoa! So we got this. Fuck, man. Oh? Oh? I'm going for it. Yeah! Woo! Woo! No, oh, please. No, please. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Dude, there was so much buildup for the weakest climax ever. Ah, oh, I wanted to flash over that wall onto them, but... I was cc Look at that. CC'd for four and a half seconds. Hot damn. When I say I was CC'd, I meant I was CC'd. There was no if, ands, or buts about it. It looks like... I guess they're just backing off now. That's fine. Because they are pretty low. And Trundle... Oh my god, dude. He's 14 and 2. But he is squishy as hell. If they lock him down, he's going to die so fast. He'll pop like a balloon entering the stratosphere. Alright. Miles is back off cooldown again. Let's do it all again. Let's spread some jam on their biscuits. All right, Predator's being popped. Here I come. See, oh, oh no, they know. Run, run me, run. Okay. They'll never know. They know. They'll never know. Foolish. All right. Ooh. Okay. Nice! I did it so perfectly! Yes! Woo! Slurp him! That's the double kill and the red buff. And... Oh. I timed the reap so poorly. Did you guys see that, though? I was able to time my Q with Warwick's ultimate so I could buffer it while he was traveling at me and fear him out of his own ultimate myself. It was sick! Ah, uh, Feels good, man. Feels good. Now that was the big boy ultimate we've been wanting. Oh my god, I do such a little damage to those minions. Milesman's already almost back up. Look at that. Hot damage. Slow him. I'm slurping. I'm slurping. I'm sli- I'm, I'm dying. Huh. Yeah, so it turns out the uh, only issue with this- <laughs> With this build is basically what just happened to the vein, except, you know, I just died. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out if they actually, like- Yeah, Andy just kind of, like, sneezed on me. And that is- Well- not good. So I either need the Zonias, or I need to get like a Banshees. So, one of the two, one or the other. 
I'm, I mean, I'm obviously getting Zonia's. We already know. I'm already building towards it. Actually, I guess this builds into Banshees too, doesn't it? It do, it do. But Zonia's more fun. Zonia's more fun. Zonia's less frick. Alright. Using Predator strictly to move faster. Not even for anything else. Just to get to my camps faster. Yes! You can't fucking mess up and unleash from me if I just smite you. Alright, good job team on the objective control because everyone knows that that's um, not what I do. So thankfully my team has got the dragons on lock. I think I was there for one of four dragons in the game so far, so good job Fiddlesticks. You're doing great. Oh, I saw you, Annie. I saw that particle effect. Right, but check me out. How much is Malzma doing? 225 plus 166 per second to all enemy units in the area. So, not bad damage. Not bad. Oh my god, man. The drain does no damage to freaking... Ugh, the monsters at all. So bad. I'm going for it. What's good, baby? You've been feared. And you're being slipped. Epic nice. I help. I help. Eh. Fudge sickles. I tried to reap it. But not for me. Not today. But that's going to be... Here, watch this insane damage on the minions. Oh my god, it's insane. I did 20% of the... Oh my god, the 20% of the minions help. Oh. Alright, so I know I bitched a little bit about the early game of Fiddlesticks. And I guess, I guess, like, I, I don't think it's completely unjustified. He definitely feels slightly weaker on his burst end of things. But that is definitely attributed to me just being used to old Fiddlesticks and how his damage is allocated there. So this, it, it's just modernized Fiddlesticks, right? Like, it's still Fiddlesticks that we all know and probably hate, but for the people that love him, it's still the same Fiddlesticks, just modern. And it doesn't feel bad, I'm just not used to it. So, so far so good. I'm di I did a decent amount of damage, we'll take that, we take those. Had some fun this game, and that is my thoughts and feelings and impressions on the new spooky sticks in the jungle. If you did enjoy this video, do leave a like, the comment really does help me out. If you want to subscribe, ring that bell to be notified whenever I do upload a video. Uh, apparently YouTube messed up and my videos aren't showing up in people's sub boxes again. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, also, for those of you watching it, hope you are enjoying the Ori and the Will of the Wisps playthrough. Thank you for enjoying that if you are. And as always, thank you for watching all of my videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!